A lot of speculation, mystery, and secrecy have surrounded Luca Magnata's relationship with his ex-escorting client, John Bitteroff. Many people have a lot of questions about this relationship, and I hope this podcast answers some of those unanswered questions and situations. Most people, including the fake news lying, ill-informed media, have no idea about Luca Magnata's private life. Furthermore, Luca has zero relationship with any of his money-hungry, attention-seeking relatives. His friends and associates do not speak about him. So don't believe the incoherent individuals you see in interviews claiming to know Luca or have dated him. Luca knows none of these idiots. Here is a real story of Luca McDonough and John Bitterolf. Luca McDonough was living in New York City in the 2000s. He was one of the best known, best liked, and most respected male escorts in the city. He was the equivalent of Sharon Stone's character in the film Casino. Luca was extremely successful and constantly meeting new clients. The rich, the famous, and the powerful elite. Luca was involved with Manny Lopez, his extremely abusive partner at the time. Manny has been discussed at length throughout the trial of Luca Magnata, and people claim different things about him. I can assure you that he is all too real. Luca was also involved with the notorious internet stalker David Diamato, who impersonated Luca all over the internet. Luca received a call to meet a man. This man required male escort services. This man was John Bitterolf. Luca, when asked years later about Bitterolf in an interview, was not shy to confirm he was a client. John Bitterolf was hardly the most well-known client Luca had. Luca never speaks about his clients or reveals their names in his black book, but Bitterolf admitted many times that he indeed knew Luca. Luca and Bitteroff had their first encounter, and it was agreed Magnata would help him find female escorts. John was shy around women, so Luca was the perfect person to introduce him to all the sex trade workers he worked with and knew. Luca always worked doubles with the women escorts, and he and John would have intercourse together with the prostitutes. John told Luca he hated transsexuals and females. Magnata echoed the sentiment and brought Bitteroff all types of women. Before meeting Luca, Bitteroff found women on Craigslist. Luca used Craigslist a lot. However, that website became very shady, and Luca shifted more towards professional websites. John Bitteroff became very needy and wanted to monopolize Luca's services and time. He demanded Luca get more and more women for him. He started paying the women in drugs and alcohol. Luca never did drugs, but the prostitutes did. Luca was forced to do a lot of things against his will. Luca was assaulted by Bitteroff. Luca traveled from New York City to Fire Island very frequently, and also worked all over Long Island, but was based in New York City. John Bitteroff is the one who raped and murdered all the women. John Bitteroff is a Long Island serial killer. Luca McDonough was just another of Bitteroff's victims. John brutally beat Luca when Luca refused to help him find prostitutes and fellow escorts. Luca should not be blamed for all or any of Bitterolf's crimes. Luca was just John's hired escort, and Luca denies any involvement in Bitterolf's crimes and the Long Island serial killings. All the similarities are completely coincidental, and Luca is furious that he was accused of these things that he denies doing. Luca was innocent, and he was a bystander. In 2019, Luca did an interview and denied all involvement in the unsolved murders and any crime. Luca wishes to be left completely alone and hates the media. Nobody really knows anything about Luca Magnata's life, nor will they ever, except the 10% that is public. Luca denies murdering anyone ever, and that he was indeed framed. Some people wonder how so many women could have gone missing in Long Island for so long without a suspect being arrested. John Bitteroff was obviously not the only individual murdering people on Long Island. Many people have speculated who the real killer or killers were. The chief of police, a doctor, a carpenter, nobody really knows. Lucas said he heard John was furious when he picked up a female prostitute and quickly realized it was a transsexual and killed him. Also, Luca heard John had a company 
was involved in sex torture rings. People would be completely shocked if they knew what really happened at night in the homes of the wealthy on Long Island. David D'Amato and Manny Lopez were both witnesses to all of this. Luca was too busy earning a fortune and didn't have time for any of the drama. In fact, at that time, Luca was dating a very well-known hockey player in New York City. The man was his escort client. I hope this podcast has answered some of the many unanswered questions surrounding this case.